Hey, welcome back to SV Ramble On, and thanks for watching. This last week we've had some pretty good weather and I've been chasing some drips around the boat and wanted to start with rebedding the port lights. One of the things I did, I started, was through bolting these port lights. Uh, from the factory they were only screwed in with just wood screws, alternating patterns inside and out, and they were just sandwiched together. So what I did was, uh, two of these screws are horizontal, I took those out and then drilled through top and bottom. So 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, I put in four through bolts on each one. What it does is it just gives a little bit more compression. So the first time I bedded the port lights, I used butyl tape. But the problem with butyl tape is you need adequate compression and multiple steps of tightening it and letting it relax and then tightening it again. They held for a while, actually several years. I mean, we put these port lights in five years ago, six years ago, and that was one of the first things we did was reglaze and rebed all the port lights. Uh, I'm taking them all out, recaulking them with Marine 4000. It's an adhesive sealant. Instead of just wood screws into miscellaneous deck core, what I got here is uh, actual through bolts and it really does help. I can, I can, everything gets nice and tight. I get a good squeeze out on all the sealant. So these are like 1024 bronze uh, round head uh, screws, Phillips screws with a little bronze 1024 nut. You can see as I tighten it down, it's squeezing out. And then that also helps the wood screws bite in. The wood screws are flathead, or not flathead, but Phillip, or slotted. Also, as I tighten these down, these things are, they got pretty good, uh, pretty good goopage in order to provide the seal. All right, so the only pore lights we've never done anything to are the only ones that don't leak from the factory 41, 42 years ago. Uh, these things, the round port lights, they have a, f this outer frame screws on, it's threaded and it screws on and it's been very well bedded. These things puddle up with water because of the slope of the, the foredeck. Never had an issue, so don't mess with perfection. I'm not gonna, I've never taken them out. Uh, we cleaned them in place. I took the, we reglazed them years ago, you know, with new glass, but well, you Other start, than that, I'm not going to rebed them. You start. So stay tuned next week. Uh, we're going to be working back in the bilge and installing our high water bilge pump. Also with the new bilge pump, we're going to install a high water alarm. Yeah, thanks for watching. And, you know, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, you can also hit us on Facebook and on Instagram as we ramble on. And also check out our website, our blog, uh, svramblon.com. Before you go, uh, last night it rained like crazy and winds up in the 40s. So right now, all the port lights are dry. So I think I might have solved the leak issue with the eight oval port lights on our boat. For now. For now, yeah. Thanks for watching.